As I sat in the comfort of my home, I couldn't help but reflect on that fateful night, the night I had planned for adventure and fun, but instead found myself ensnared in a chilling nightmare, the excitement of camping near Seattle had been contagious among my friends and me. We had dreamed of exploring the great outdoors, sharing ghost stories around the campfire, and immersing ourselves in the beauty of nature under the moonlit sky. Little did we know that our innocent escapade would take a dark and terrifying turn, the drive to the woods was filled with laughter and anticipation, but as we ventured further away from civilization, an eerie stillness seemed to engulf us. The woods that had appeared inviting in the daytime took on a foreboding atmosphere as the sun sank behind the horizon. Undeterred by the growing darkness, we set up our campsite, our youthful spirits fueling our enthusiasm. The crackling fire provided some comfort, but the dancing shadows seemed to hold secrets we couldn't comprehend, as the night wore on, the wind began to whisper through the trees, creating an unsettling symphony of eerie sounds. The laughter and camaraderie that had filled the air earlier were now replaced with hushed whispers and nervous glances, suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows, a man cloaked in darkness, his face hidden beneath a tattered hood. Fear rooted me to the spot as he demanded our belongings. The glint of a knife in his hand sent chills down my spine, and I could feel the tension in the air as my friends reluctantly handed over their phones and wallets, in a chilling voice, he ordered us to follow him deeper into the woods. The terror in my heart intensified, but I dared not disobey. The unknown intentions of this sinister stranger kept my mind racing with fear. As we stumbled through the darkness, my heart pounded with every step, and the tangled underbrush seemed to conspire against us. Suddenly, without warning, the stranger turned and struck me with a brutal blow to the head. The world went black, and I lost all sense of time and space, when I regained consciousness, I found myself alone and disoriented. The campsite was deserted, and a haunting silence enveloped me. Panic surged as I realized I was lost in the heart of the woods, far away from my friends and any sign of civilization, I stumbled on logs and rocks, desperate to find my way back, but the wood seemed to play tricks on me, leading me further into the labyrinth of shadows. Every rustle of leaves, every distant hoot of an owl, sent shivers down my spine, and I felt the ominous presence of unseen beings watching me from the darkness, as I struggled to find an escape, hope flickered in the distance, a faint glimmer of light. Relief washed over me, but it quickly turned to dread as I realized it was the same man, holding a flashlight and taunting me from afar. My heart raced, and I knew I had to change direction, to keep moving, if I wanted any chance at survival, hours felt like days as I pressed on, my fear mingled with exhaustion and desperation. Finally, I stumbled upon a road, a lifeline in the darkness. With trembling hands, I waved down a passing car. My relief immeasurable as the driver rescued me from the nightmarish woods, back in the safety of the city, I wasted no time and immediately informed the police about the horrifying ordeal. The man's intentions seemed to be robbery, but the sinister act of leaving me alone and disoriented in the vast forest had put my life at a slim chance of survival. The haunting memories of that night never left me, and I couldn't shake the feeling that the woods themselves had held me captive, their darkness and secrets intertwining with my own. The experience left an indelible mark on my soul, forever reminding me of the fragility of innocence and the chilling reality that danger can lurk in even the most serene surroundings. That night, I learned that the shadows can hold more than darkness, they can hide terrors beyond imagination. Thank you for watching if you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet please like share and subscribe.